Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to take a few minutes this evening and do uh, not so much a tutorial, but a screencast uh, tips and tricks uh, sort of uh, a thing about uh, capturing lightning uh, on camera. Uh, you know, as you know, lightning photography is one of my real passions. And uh, frankly, something I thought I was going to be giving up a lot of when I moved to Western Washington this spring. But um, much to my joy, there's been a, a number of good uh, thunderstorms that have moved through the area. Uh, actually, just in the last couple of weeks. And uh, this really has to do about shooting raw when you're out capturing lightning. And I'm not going to go into the whole details of raw versus JPEG. Uh, short of saying that the, the raw image... Uh, retains an incredible amount of data. Uh, it gives you, there's a lot of information there to work with where a JPEG is uh, compressed and cooked in the camera in such a way that it doesn't have really that detail uh, any longer or the, the range of edits that you can do to it to try to recover something if something frankly goes a little wrong. And frankly, things can go wrong when you're shooting lightning. Now, there's an incredible number of variables actually. There's anyone who shoots lightning regularly will tell you. Uh, not only do you have the, uh, the whole challenge of trying to get an interesting composition uh, when you don't know where the star of your, uh, of your capture is going to be, lightning isn't there when you're setting the camera up, uh, but lightning itself can uh, uh, really have different intensities of light when you shoot. So exposure can become a real challenge where you're t if you're taking a shot in one direction at a t at in this sequence and the first three or four uh, lightning strikes come out just perfectly exposed the next one could be much brighter and really blow out the highlights which is what you're seeing uh, on my screen right now this for all practical purposes the way this image sits it's uh, it's unusable I mean the uh, brightness in the clouds uh, from the lightning through here it was just I mean it's it's just looks like it's completely uh, blown out in the highlights but the cool thing about shooting raw is there's still a lot of information in this re region of the frame that we can recover. And it's not that hard to do. It's basically I'm going to use three sliders and I'm going to get this image to a point to where I could really start thinking about what I want to do with it. So uh, I've said it before in my other uh, tutorials and my screencasts that my favorite slider, bar none in Lightroom, is the clarity slider. and it was my favorite uh, in Lightroom 3, and it's even more of a favorite now in Lightroom 4. They've uh, they've really done magical things to that clarity slider. Uh, whichever, uh, whoever came up with that, really, I hope, got a big raise. So I'm going to just start with grabbing this clarity slider, and I'm going to drag it all the way up to 100. That's going to, it's a little more than I want for this, but I just wanted to show you uh, just what that difference is. I mean, if I start with that, and then... Uh, washed out, I pull that thing to 100 and it just became a different image. It's far more interesting looking uh, just with that change alone. In fact, you can start to see some of the tendrils here around my mouse. They're, they're starting to come back. But I'm going to uh, grab that and bring it back down to in the neighborhood of about 50-ish. Ah, 53. That's close enough. Now, the next slider I'm going to do is going to be this highlight slider. And think of it in a lot of the sense the way that the recovery slider used to be. And I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to bring it way down into the, down in, uh, say I'm sitting at a negative 81 right now. And look what that did. That just completely brought those tendrils out. Now where you can see those really fine, wispy uh, parts of the lightning bolt. Uh, so already this image is looking uh, much better. And finally, my third slider, the only other slider I really need to, I, and there's a lot more I could do, but just for the purpose of this, I'm just going to take my exposure and not go quite that much. And I'm going to drop it about a stop, oh, I'm a 0.9 down on my exposure to, to bring the exposure down a little bit. And just look at the difference. Look at the transformation of, of that image from something that was completely and utterly blown out, which is really a shame uh, because I like this image a lot. Um, I I like the composition. I like the, the shadow of the trees. It was a gorgeous lightning bolt to watch in real time as it struck. And I really do like some of the detail in these clouds up here. But as it sits, I mean, it is completely useless to me. But like I said, with three simple sliders, 
I can go and turn it into that, which all of a sudden became a, it becomes a very interesting image. I'd, I'd crop it a little bit and uh, maybe uh, lighten a little bit in the cloud area. Who knows? I mean, just whatever my mood suits me uh, for editing this. And I will at some point edit this and get this put onto my blog. But in the meantime, I just wanted to take uh, five or six minutes here and uh, show you that just because you captured that lightning bolt and it appeared to be grossly overexposed, uh, there's a lot that can be done to bring that back in and make it an interesting image again. And the tools are there. Uh, the data is there if you shoot raw. And again, I can't stress enough, this is only going to work for you if you shoot raw. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it a little bit informative. And uh, follow me on my new blog. Uh, please add it to your RSSs if you haven't. My new uh, photo blog is scottwoodphotoblog.com. Uh, my old My Blue Heaven is going to become more of a personal site, and uh, scottwoodphotoblog.com is going to be the uh, exclusively photography uh, related blogging. Uh, my galleries are always at scottwoodphotography.com. And uh, please follow me on Twitter at Scott underscore Wood. Uh, have a great night and go out and get some lightning images. They are a lot of fun.